It was back in 2003, a 31-year-old woman disappeared from her Atmore home. It's an investigation deputies say has never gone cold, yet pieces to this puzzle are still missing. Fox News reporter Tori Thornton has Missing in Alabama. For years now, detectives have looked far and wide for Melinda Wall McGee, yet after 15 years of searching, they're still not close to finding her. When someone is missing, the circle's broken, there's a big missing, missing piece. It's as if time stops. This time capsule of her picture is so disheartening sometimes because we've aged. We, there's no new pictures. I there's told no you that new last pictures. Night. Why can't we see her as she would be today? For Melinda Wall McGee's family, it happened in 2003. I've had 15 years of sorrow. Um, insane pain, hurt from this, anger, sadness. McGee was born in 1971, the second of four children. Oh, Mama, <laughs> <laughs> mean baby girl, yes. and she Melinda was, was in the middle. She yeah. was our peacemaker. <laughs> she was a cheerleader in middle oh, yeah. school, um, yeah. graduated high school, and got married, moved to Mississippi. Oh, yeah. um, did nursing after that. Her sisters Melissa Boatwright and Amanda McGee say Melinda was very popular, a cheerleader in high school with the looks and ambition to match. She was she was an LPN for many years. For many years and she was going back to get her RN and would have, I believe May of that year had completed her her RN. Life was on the up for Melinda Wall McGee, a wife and a mother of two. She was living her best life until that dark day. March, March 24th, 2003. Uh, Melinda McGee drove home from work. She was working at a nursing home uh, in Baymanette, Alabama. Got off at 7 a.m., drove home to the area, bought gas, went to her residence, ended up calling her husband's employment and also spoke with her mother. That was the last time anyone heard from McGee until her husband and young children made a gruesome discovery that afternoon. I think Gage was the one to go in first. That was her, her, oldest, her son. oldest son. Walks in the house, finds blood in the bedroom. The next 24 hours were like a blur for family members and detectives. But I remember pulling up. People everywhere. Everywhere. People were everywhere. News people, police officers, community, oh, people, the community, guests, it's family, just people friends. were everywhere by the time I got there. Investigators say such a grim scene led them to declare McGee missing that day. Family members spoke to Fox 10 News a few days after her disappearance. I just want you to know she's a real person. We love her. We want her back. If you ever, ever see her, Please call somebody. For detectives, many questions, but not many answers. What caused her to be a victim of this crime in her own home? Uh, what she did, how she did it, where she went to church, where she got her hair done. She just worked from the center out and end up literally, as in this case, interviewing hundreds of people. Days turned into weeks, weeks into months, and months into years. We have Huge ground penetrating radar. We've dug up old whales, like old cistern whales, mm -hmm. yeah. just off leaves. Uh, numerous dollars been spent. Just where a lead takes us, we don't, we don't leave that rock in turn. We turn it over and we look under it. Mm -hmm. We have to dive, we dive. Do you, do you, any chance in you guys' minds, uh, personally, do you think that, that she may be still alive? No. I mean, we're absolutely convinced that, that she was killed. And there are some things we've done from early on, because that's another thing you have in a case like this. You have rumors she made herself disappear. But we have, we have run those type things into the ground with, a, I think, more than a reasonable degree of certainty combined with the evidence at the scene, the physical evidence. Although they haven't found a body, Detective Tommy Calhoun and Captain Greg Forbes say this is a murder investigation. Who removes a body 
from the scene of a violent crime like that. It, uh, Why would it be murder? Yeah. What's the purpose of taking it? <laughs> it, it? It leads you to believe that the person was known to the victim, perhaps even close to the victim. Well, if you don't have a body, then you don't have that evidence. 15 years later, they're still conducting interviews, still working for this family, still hoping to find her. Is, is this a cold case? No, it's not. This is not a cold case. Okay. We're working it every day. We, we actually, today in our office, before we did this interview with you, interviewed a guy. Yeah. That's not a cold case. A circle is now broken for family members. Their lives changed for the worse. Without a body, they'll have a rough time finding closure. I like our son's graduation, when he graduated, I went out there just to talk to her, but he had already been there. He took his invitation and laid it there. On an empty grave because that coward chose to not only murder her that day, but take her body. She is my sister and I love her. And if it was your sister and you knew something, why won't you just help us? Why won't you help us end this? Years, the pain is still as rich for her family as it was on March 24th, 2003. A woman gone without a trace, two children without their mother, siblings without their sister, parents without their daughter. Melinda Wall McGee is still missing in Alabama.